It's hot. It's too hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. So, so good. with you the best cuy in Ecuador. That's right, you can get it in Quito, you can get it in Baños, you can even get it in Cuenca. However, the best cuy in Ecuador is in none of those places. It's actually in Hualaseo, which is 30 minutes outside Cuenca. I'm here at the Mercado 25 de Junio, 25th of June, and we're about to have Mrs. Rosario's cuy. You can get a small one here for $10. She also does roast chicken nothing else. This is what she specializes in. And you can find her at stall, CAO1. However, she's the only one here that still wears the traditional dress, the pollera. So you can pick her out immediately. She doesn't do the sides, but fortunately, right next to her are Maria and Narcisa. And they have all the sides. They've given me a plate. So I've got potatoes that have been cooked in a pepe de sambal sauce, which is a pumpkin seed ají. I've got mote. And then I've also got chupi, which is a type of corn with fava beans. And of course, you know, I also have a side of separate ají. I am so excited for this. When we first got here, Mrs. Rosario was not busy. But quickly, there was a line. Lots of people are ordering it. You can get the kui to order. So you basically tell her what size you want, how much you need, and she gives you the price. It took about 25 minutes for us to get this kui. So kui is one of the most traditional Ecuadorian foods. It was considered to be a gift from the gods by the Inca and Canary people. And today, Ecuadorians have still held that tradition. It is revered as something that you have at a special occasion. It might be a baptism, it might be someone graduating from college, but also sometimes families will come here and have kui together. And that's what I've seen here today. You've seen groups of people. A small one is $10 and you think, oh, that's such a good deal. But actually there's not a lot of meat on a kui. And that's why they also roast the chicken as well because that's more economical for what you're getting for the price. This might not be easy for someone to watch if they had guinea pig as a child. However, this is not the same kind of guinea pig that the little tiny ones that maybe you had when you were growing up. This is really the size, I would say, of a rabbit. It's quite large. You know, my personal belief is if you're gonna be eating meat, you should be open to eating any kind of meat. There's certainly lots of foods that we eat in Canada and the US that they wouldn't eat in other cultures. I've had kui before, but it has been eight years. I've had it in Ecuador, but I know I like it because they roast it over open charcoal. Or I've also had it in Peru where they deep fry it. For me, that's a little bit greasy. I much prefer something roasted over charcoal because charcoal has an amazing flavor. When we got here, Mrs. Rosario, uh, she actually gave me one of the little feet to try, just to prove that she has the best flavor. Now she marinates this only in garlic and salt, and then as they cook it, they baste it with achiote oil. All right guys, let's talk about these sides. These potatoes. First up, I'm going to try the potato in the pepa de sambal sauce. I've had this before, just the sauce with uh, ornato or roasted pig. Mm. This is really lovely earthy sauce, so good. And then we've got mote. And so mote we would most commonly know as hominy. Not something we eat a lot in Canada, but certainly in the US, hominy is a common ingredient. Southern US. It's just like a corn with a tusk. And then we've got chupi. So it's a type of corn I've never had here. And they serve it with fava beans called habas. Mmm. Just nice and fresh. It's really good. All right, they were so nice here. I was taking too long filming this intro, taking pictures, taking video, everything, that the kui actually got kind of cold or room temperature. And so they took it, put it on a grill, and reheated it for me because you need to have crispy skin and warm meat. 
I actually think now it's going to be even better because the skin looks even crispier. Hot, it's hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Look at the skin, it looks so, so good. This is very hot on my fingers. One kui is supposed to be for four people, so you put it into quarters. If you're lucky, you're gonna get the thigh because that has the most meat. It's the easiest to eat. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. Cooked over charcoal, it has so much flavor. And you know what? Other than this little foot right here, I don't know if you could really, most people could tell if it wasn't chicken. It's more like chicken and rabbit mixed together. Mm. This is so good. I'm telling you, even if you're a little uneasy, you have to try kui. You have to give it a shot. It's so good. And this charcoal flavor is so, so good. Mm. Oh, the achiote flavor on the skin. The skin is so crispy. Look at this, the skin is so good. Mm. Mm. I haven't even put ahi on any of this yet. All right, if you love barbecue, you have to try this. Oh. That ahi is so good. So, so good. So if you look at this meat, it just, it actually just looks like it's chicken. Mm, that's really good. If you come to Wallaceo, look for Mrs. Rosario. Like, she has the touch. This is so, so good. Mm. But guess what, people? When you eat animals, they have feet. We have a saying too. What is it? That you shouldn't eat the hoof. Oh, you shouldn't eat the hoof? Yeah, because well, you will get uh, ugly right. Okay, so here's an interesting Ecuadorian saying. You should not eat the kui hoof, otherwise you have ugly handwriting. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, does anyone really write anymore? That's definitely a traditional one. So even here, they think that eating the head is you know, for the brave. There's like no meat on it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> no meat there. <laughs> the cheeks, good point. Oh yeah. Mm, the cheeks are, mm. Oh my God, the cheeks. I am a dark meat kind of chicken person. I think all the flavor is in the dark meat. Yeah, like chicken breast has less calories, but like, I'm there for the flavor. This is like eating a dark meat. This, these cheeks, they're so good. Oh. Gotta say, I was told that the best kui in Ecuador was in Wallaceo, and I am telling you, it is true. This is fantastic. You have to come here, it's worth the half hour drive. There are a lot of other things in this market that you should eat as well. I've been here for the Arnado, which is some of the best in Ecuador. And then also I had tortillas here. Oh, this market is like, this is my favorite market in Ecuador so far.